A stand accessory that is really important to have on hand is definitely going to be a clip-on light, as there are almost certainly going to be different performance or practice situations where you're going to need that little bit of extra light to help illuminate your sheet music. So over the course of this video, we're going to be taking a look at some different types and models of stand lights, and make sure you stick around for the end of the video because I'll be doing a very simple brightness test so that way we can see which one is best. All of that and more, coming up. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zachary Savinsky and let's get right into it. There are three different types of lights that we're gonna be taking a look at today, which are one-headed lights, dual-headed lights, as well as lawn strip lights, or in other words, more orchestra style lights. These are far from the most professional or industry standard terms out there. I just couldn't come up with any other names for them. As I mentioned before, all of the models we're taking a look at today clip on to the music stand. And another thing to mention is that they all also have adjustable necks or flexible goose necks as they like to call them. There are some models that don't have adjustable necks like the Menhasa MH1000, which uses an actual light bulb. I know, old school, right? but we will not be taking a look at that light in this video. Starting things off with the one-headed lights, there is one model that I have here called the Mighty Bright Wonderflex model. It has two LED bulbs that display to about 20 lumens, three brightness settings, as well as an adjustable neck like we mentioned before, or goose neck in more professional terms. Affleck. The light takes three AAA batteries and does have a USB charging port, but the USB cable is not included with the product, which I do find to be a little bit strange because you would think that if it has the option to be charged via USB, that they would just include the cable. You do get this nice little bag for the light though, so I guess that's a plus. So with all of that being said, the price of the light is going to be $19.49 on Woodwind and Brasswind, but is actually $5 lower on Amazon, coming in at a price of $14.79. And I'll make sure to have the links to all of these lights in the description down below. All right, the next light that we're gonna talk about is gonna be a dual headed light, which the one I have here is called the Vikia Music Stand Light. I don't have the official specs on this specific light because it appears that they updated the model since I got it, but it does look like it has 12 little LED lights and two brightness levels. The one that I have here is powered via a USB cable, which is actually included on this one. But the newer ones that I'm seeing elsewhere are not just powered by the USB, but also three AAA batteries as well. With this being a dual headed light, you can see that there are two separate necks, which on this particular model, I think are a little bit flimsy and could be easily knocked out of place. So in my opinion, that's not the best thing, but it is nice that you can adjust the brightness on each side separately. The updated model that I'm looking at, which is similar to the one that I have here, costs $14.99 on Amazon. Both of those smaller lights I think are really good for practicing, where you might just need a little bit more light for parts of your music, especially if the room you're in has some dark spots or an overhead light that's not very bright. Now moving on to the orchestra style or lawn strip lights, which I know is still a terrible name for this type of light. Regardless of the name though, we will be taking a look at two different models of lights in this style. With the first one being the Mighty Bright Encore Light, which itself is a smaller version of the Mighty Bright Orchestra Light model. The Encore Light, however, has six LEDs, which display to about 55 lumens and has two different brightness levels. You can power the light with either three AAA batteries or an AC adapter that plugs into the wall. This doesn't charge the light though, as it only lets you use the light while plugged into the wall if you don't have batteries. It also comes with a portable travel bag, unlike the Vikia light we just talked about, which does not come with one. The price for this light is gonna be $35.99 on both Woodwind and Brasswind and Amazon. And as I mentioned before, the links to all these lights are gonna be in the description down below, so make sure you go check them out there as well. The next strip light we're going to mention is the Proline SL12NR rechargeable music stand light, which as you can tell by the name, it's rechargeable. But this is actually going to be the only way you'll be able to use this light is by either having it plugged into the wall while using it or having a charge in it because this light does not take any batteries. As far as the specs go, there are 12 LEDs and two brightness settings. And then the light also comes with a travel bag as well. I would also like to mention that this light's neck is the sturdiest out of all of the ones we've talked about, which to me really is an added plus. All of that will come to a total of $34.99 on the Woodwind and Brasswind site, which makes it $1 cheaper than the Mighty Bright Encore light, and you're getting more lights on it in total. So in my opinion, you're getting the most bang for your buck with this light. These lawn strip lights are more so meant for orchestral or pit situations where you're going to be in a very dark room or stage and need the extra light for performances, especially because they both have that little rear curtain on the back of the light, which blocks any extra light from getting to the audience. 
Although that's not to say that they wouldn't be good for practice situations, because they would be really good for that. It's just performances are more so what they're geared towards in my opinion. All right now, we're gonna be moving on to the brightness test, where this room will be pretty much pitch black, and I'll go through and show each and every single light at their lowest and highest brightness setting. Starting with the Mighty Bright Wonderflex light, this is its lowest brightness setting. This is its middle brightness setting. And this is its highest brightness setting. Again, that is its lowest setting, middle setting, and highest setting. Moving on to the Vikia Music Stand light, this is its lowest setting with one light. This is its highest setting with one light. This is its lowest setting with both lights. And this is its highest setting with both lights. Again, that is its one light lowest, one light highest, two light lowest, and two light highest. Now going to the Mighty Bright Encore light, this is its lowest brightness setting, and this is its highest brightness setting. Again, that is its lowest setting and its highest setting. Finishing things up with the Proline SL12NR Rechargeable Music Stand light, this is its lowest brightness setting, and this is its highest brightness setting. Again, that is its lowest setting and its highest setting. Okay now, I wanna hear from you guys. Which one of those lights was your favorite? Put your thoughts in the comment section down below. Overall, I think it really depends on what your situation is for which light you're going to like the best. As for me, I like all of them in different ways. I know that sounds very indecisive of me to say, but every single one of them does have their perks. The brightest one is definitely the SL12NR, but I also like the temperature of the Encore light more. The slim nature of the Wonderflex is a plus, but I also like how the Vakia light is brighter and has the dual headed style. Although there is a dual headed model of the Wonderflex as well. So whichever the best one is, is completely up to you and what you're looking for in a music stand light. But hey, at least they all have flexible goosenecks. I flag. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. That way you never miss another video. But until then, I hope you have a great week and happy practicing.